What's up shark nerds? It's me, Paul Clerken, a shark researcher, and today we're going to talk about two of my favorite things, sharks and sleep. Let's dive in. Do sharks sleep? And this is an interesting question because it's hard to think about sleeping in the ocean. When I was a kid, I uh, I was watching some show on PBS. I forget what it was, but you could call in and ask marine biologists questions. So I um, I called in and I, I waited forever and I asked them if dolphins sleep. And uh, they answered that yes, dolphins sleep and they do this by resting different parts of their brains um, while they sleep, which was kind of a confusing answer for me at the time because I was a little kid. But uh, since then, I found out a bit about sleeping in the ocean and yeah, different animals sleep different ways. Um, I mean, even with bugs on land, we have like, you know, they seem to go through different uh, rest periods. It's not quite sleep, they call it torpor but they seem to shut down where their metabolism sh slows down, their energy slows down, and they are less responsive to the stimuli around them. We don't know if that's really just a temperature light thing or if it's their version of sleep. When it comes to marine animals, we have um, dolphins and whales, and they've been observed in captivity and in the wild, um, either sleeping, but they're just floating in the water and they'll do this either horizontally or vertically uh, but they will also sleep kind of slowly swimming next to each other so kind of like a zombie like type swimming and uh, we've seen fish sleep I mean um, you know uh, aquarium fish will just slow down their activity and just kind of hang out at night but also parrotfish will wrap themselves in a mucus cocoon uh, which which they lodge in uh, in crevices in coral and this kind of just keeps them safe it keeps them insulated and hidden from predators a uh, side note about parrotfish they get their name because they have those big parrot like bills uh, which they use to break off pieces of coral which they grind up uh, they digest the uh, the edible parts and the rest they excrete um, as like a sediment which means that they poop sand so every time you go to Hawaii or you see those big, white, beautiful sandy beaches that people are putting their feet into, they are putting their feet into parrot fish poop. Um, sand can be made up a lot of different things. So it's usually broken down rock. If you can see um, a lot of different material in there, it's, it's broken down rock. But if it's all uniform sand, that's, that's parrot fish poop. Um, <laughs> a, a large parrot fish can, um, can over a year, poop out 1,000 pounds of, of coral parrotfish poop. That's It's a whole baby grand piano worth of poop. That was kind of a side note. Back to sleep. The question of whether sharks sleep or not really depends on our definition of sleep. So I'm going to look it up on Wikipedia with my phone. And Wikipedia says sleep is a naturally reoccurring state of mind and body characterized by altered consciousness, relatively inhibited sensory activity, reduced muscle activity, and inhibition of nearly all voluntary muscles during rapid eye movement sleep, and reduced interactions with surroundings. So do sharks do this? They certainly seem to go through periods of rest where they interact with their surroundings less but what can we say about their their consciousness we it's it's impossible to tell because we we are not doing any sleep studies on sharks it would just be uh too hard to to do to like follow a shark around with electrodes on it to see uh if it's asleep if its brain waves are altered or not um we we can say that they they t seem to go through um a slowed rest stage um but it's complicated with sharks because, uh, first of all, they uh, a lot of species don't have eyelids. Some species have a nictitating membrane which protects their eyes when they go in to bite something. But they don't really have uh, eyelids, and most species just ha don't have nictitating membranes. So when they're swimming around, they uh, their eyes are open, 
and they've they've done some studies that show that their eyes seem to still track movement but we don't know what they're experiencing are they still taking in stimuli or are they oblivious to what's happening around them also um Lots of shark species are obligate ram ventilators, which means they have to swim to breathe. Some species can pump water over their gills and just sit on the bottom, but a lot of species have to swim to breathe, which means the idea of uh, putting on your PJs and going to bed is impossible. They have to constantly be kicking their tails just to stay alive. So as you can see, it's a complicated answer of whether sharks sleep or not. Yet, I've seen a lot of articles online explaining about sharks sleeping, and this is based on a couple of sensational um, encounters with sharks. Uh, the first of which is a Yucatan sleeping shark's cave, which they discovered uh, a couple of years ago in, in a cave off Mexico, where they found a couple of different species, mostly Caribbean reef sharks, who appear to be sleeping. They are remarkably docile, they're very approachable, and they're very, very inactive, and we don't know why. Uh, they, they hang out on the bottom of the cave. They're just kind of hanging out, having like a little cuddle puddle party, um, and it's assumed that they're sleeping, but we don't actually know. We know that there's a lot of um, fresh water in that cave, low salinity, um, and we, we don't know why these sharks behave in this way. It's been proposed that they're sleeping, but we do not know if they are sleeping. The idea that sharks resting on the bottom are more likely to be sleeping is just like, it's based on us being humans because that's how we would like to sleep. But a, a shark that's swimming is just as likely to be asleep. They've actually done studies with juvenile lemon sharks um, and juvenile lemon sharks, can, they can swim and breathe, and they can also rest on the bottom. And they actually spend 10% more energy while they're on the bottom because they have to pump water over their gills. So it would be more likely for this species to sleep while it's swimming. Another case was fairly recent, and this was with researchers studying white sharks. Um, Greg Skolmo was among them, and he's an excellent researcher. They were following a female white shark named Emma, and uh, she seemed to just be swimming for a while, and she just zoned out. Her jaw opened, it went kind of slack, and she seemed to be swimming more or less like a zombie. And while an obvious explanation is that she's going through that shark version of sleep, uh, again, we don't 100% know. So while her behavior was very kind of autonomous, um, non-responsive, just zombie-like state. We don't know if the shark was sleeping and we don't know what sharks experience when they're sleeping. Another proposed piece of evidence for shark sleeping is so-called um, yo-yo swimming. And the name yo-yo comes from just like the up and down swimming pattern that some sharks have, uh, particularly at night. So there are species and they swim up in the water column and then they swim down. And while they're going down, they, they aren't powering. They just glide on their fins. And it's been proposed that they swim up and then on the way down, they have a little nap. They have a little power nap, recharge, they wake up before they hit the bottom and they swim up again. And they think that's how some of these sharks sleep. And this makes sense. The The species that do this tend to be the uh, open ocean species like blue sharks uh, that are just out there and they swim up and, and cruise down. And it happens mostly at night, which is when we sleep, but we don't know when they sleep. We don't know if they sleep. We don't know if they're just hunting. Maybe this is how they're foraging. Um, and while it is, a viable theory, we act, we have no idea if they are actually sleeping. All right, all of this obviously leads to the question of what do sharks dream about? And we have no idea. If you were a shark, what would you dream about? Just biting things, eating seals, eating whales, uh, being on Shark Week, uh, starring in the, uh, the, the new movie Jaws. Uh, what else? Uh, swimming real fast? Maybe living on land. They'd be like, what if I lived on land? Those are things sharks would like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm just kidding. There's no evidence to date to show that sharks dream. We don't even know if they sleep, but there is a pajama shark. All right, so that was our episode on sharks and whether they sleep. Um, as you can tell, this is a different format for the show where I'm answering shark questions. So if you have a question about sharks, please comment below uh, with your question and I'll go through them and, and answer those questions. So until then, just please like, share, and subscribe and we can make Shark Week every week. What about the sleeper shark? No one even asked about that. I feel like if there's gonna be a conversation about sleeps and sharks, you gotta bring up the sleeper shark in my eyes.